Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Mack. I'm one of the residents here at the University of Calgary, here to explain to you Cataract B Stop and Chop Fecal Chopping Training Level 2. In this particular level, your job is to perform two chops, one in each nu half nuclei. So using a little bit of ultrasonic energy and then holding the green sphere with foot position 2 or aspiration, you want to bring your chopper underneath the anterior capsule and then quickly propagate your chop. Then you want to rotate your lens pieces using your chopper or your phaco tip, whichever one works for you. Here I'm using the chopper. And then you want to put it into a position that's easy for your phaco tip to reach. So here using a little bit of ultrasonic energy until it turns green. It's not turning green yet, so I'm just holding it until it does. Then using your chopper, and propagate the chop. And remember, don't try the chop until the sphere turns green, otherwise your chop will not work. So try it again, um, using a little bit of ultrasonic energy, pull it into the sphere until the sphere turns green. You notice I rotate my chopper a little bit underneath the anterior capsule so that I don't damage the anterior capsule, and then I just propagate my chop. So here I'm waiting until I can get a good grasp of the uh, lens pieces and then I propagate the chop. So you be gentle when you're rotating the lens pieces. You don't want to accidentally go through the posterior capsule or cause zonular loss. So here, holding a little bit of ultrasonic energy, going underneath, and then propagating the chop. And then, that's it. You've completed two chops. So I scored 100 on both attempts using this particular strategy. Let's take a look at some examples of what you really shouldn't do. So if you're irrigating and aspirating, but you're also using a lot of ultrasonic energy, like I've described in my previous videos, you're just going to dig right through the lens and you're not gonna be able to get a good purchase of the green sphere. So what you should be aiming to do is just expose enough of the green sphere. And again, this doesn't simulate in real life. In real life, there are no green spheres in your half nuclei. But for the sake of practice, you want to get it until your um, green sphere is visible and then you want to hold it there. So here I'm just getting it to the point where the green sphere is going to go completely green just using a bit of ultrasonic energy and then trying to just use aspiration. Luckily the simulator will just regenerate lens um, pieces or uh, the lens parts that you've been um, using ultrasound to, to consume, but in real life this doesn't happen of course. So what you should try to do if you're stuck in this particular position is you actually want to take your phaco tip out of the lens um, <coughs> half, wait for the lens to regenerate itself, and then slowly reattempt it until your sphere turns green. Then you want to quickly propagate your chop. This is a simulator trick. If you don't propagate the chop fast enough with your chopper, you actually won't be able to complete the chop. Here I'm demonstrating if you're not careful or gentle, you, in terms of spinning the lens parts, you're going to have a, a difficult time in regards to lens parts being in different places who are out of position. So in this particular case here, I've demonstrated a good chop where you just hold it once and then you just chop once. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.